So today I'm going to talk about layers and colors. Having different layers and colors makes it easier to organize and select different items. So we have two red snowflakes, which we can shift click to select them both. And down here, you can see we have a blue layer and a red layer. And to change items, we just hover over here and we can choose blue. So that has made those snowflakes blue. Now, if we open up the layers panel, we can see we have two different colored layers, which we had here. We can use the eyeball to turn off certain colors, just show the other ones. Then we have an object list. And you can see in this little preview what each item is. So the snowflake, we can turn the eyeball off. We can even lock it so we can't select it. And we can turn it off and lock it. So we have lots of separate snowflakes. And if we wanted to select them all, we could shift select and go all the way around. Another way would be to select the top snowflake, then select the bottom snowflake by shift clicking, which selects them all. And then we could group them. Then we have a group of snowflakes which is now a group. Again, we can turn the eyeball off and turn it back on and lock them. So we can't select them. Then we can shift click all the letters for Mary. And this has selected them in the object list and we can group those. We can also either shift, shift click and select all the text of Christmas, or an easier way would be to select all the letters by shift clicking the top and the bottom letter to select them all. And we could choose group or even make compound path. So we have a compound vector for Christmas, which we again, we can turn off and lock. And then we have a group, which is for the word Mary. And then we have the snowflake. Now, the group of snowflakes, we really want them to be a compound path with this outer shape. So we can select the group and ungroup, then control click on this rounded vector, which is the outside shape and choose make compound path. Then if we put that onto the, the engrave layer, we can see that it's looking correct. And the way that the object list works is that everything that is on top is on top of here. So if we were to move, click and drag the blue shape up, and place it at the top, it is now on top of everything else. Everything's still there, but it is on top. So we can click and drag one by one, everything up to reorganize the object list. And then we can select any item and put them onto any type of process you'd like. And if we look in the object list, we can double click and change the names. Just press enter. So for this one, we're going to go with Christmas and press enter. We already have the snowflake and we're going to go snowflake coaster and press enter. That just keeps the object list organized. So it's easier to select. Hit the bell, subscribe, Leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.